saying, this is all fascinating as a matter of history, but there Neil Ferguson goes again, exaggerating away. What happened there could not happen here because the cases are virtually opposite. The German universities glorify the German state and the dominant ethnic group, the so-called Aryan race. American universities don't glorify America. They're very happy to have the borders erased. They're one-worlders. They're internationalists. They're not committed to glorifying the dominant WASP, the old WASP ascendancy. On the contrary, they're committed to humiliating it on behalf of other ethnic groups. So the cases are not just different, but almost opposite to each other. Why is that wrong? Well, if it becomes uh, the conventional wisdom on campus uh, that uh, from uh, the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free and Israel shall be wiped from the map, and that Hamas is a legitimate, is engaged in a legitimate uh, uh, insurrection against the settler colonists, then at the very least, you have a significant proportion of educated America endorsing a second Holocaust, because that's what Hamas had in mind. That's what we saw a trailer for on October the 7th. Uh, we should have no doubts in our minds about the intentions of Iran and its proxies in the Middle East. They wish to wipe Israel from the map, and they're explicit about that, and they're setting about achieving that objective. Anybody, Jew or non-Jew, in the Western world who is willing to accept that outcome, is willing to accept a second Holocaust. And I think uh, your skeptical listeners should pause for a moment and ask themselves if they wish to live to see that happen after the horrific uh, events of the early 1940s and the repeated avowals of Western leaders that that should never happen again. We, we glimpsed on October the 7th, we glimpsed in the sadistic violence that was perpetrated against Israeli civilians, the spirit of a second Holocaust. Mm. And I shudder when I see opinion polling on both sides of the Atlantic showing clearly uh, that young Americans and young Britons disproportionately, overwhelmingly side with the Palestinians against Israel, and they're even willing to contemplate uh, that outcome, the wiping of Israel from the map. Don't be under any illusions about what that means in practice, uh, because it's precisely illusions about what it means in practice mm. that persisted through the 1930s into the 1940s and led many people to disbelieve that the Holocaust was being committed even as the death camps went about their hideous work. In recent weeks, 